Hello there, welcome to the Traco Series Trusecki video. Now this here is a bowl of Mexican fence post fruit. Okay, I got my hands full here with the Mexican fence post fruit. I gotta pull the spines off and then clean them. This video is about the Traco Series Trusecki eye. Let's see one right here. And right here is a close up of some fruit developing. Still has a month or so, maybe a month and a half to fatten up. All the way down here. Okay, here's another big plant and uh, you can see that there's some nice big fruit developing on this one also. And we're going to come back when this one blooms and see how that looks. It's a really nice plant that has lots of flowers sometimes. We have a few of them scattered around here and there. And they're nice plants. Yeah, this big one here got a little bit of damage on the left side of the base there. It might be hard to see. But it's holding up pretty good. And it is definitely a big plant. That is giant cactus right there. Now this is an interesting Feral cactus here. It's a feral cactus lattice venus. <clears throat> Looks like it got damaged maybe on one side and it's trying to grow around it. I'm not really sure. It may be cresting, but it's hard to tell right now. Look who just walked up. Wants to be in the video. Hey there, little guy. How you doing? You out here catching some bugs? Yeah? Now these uh, Trichocereus uh, or Echinopsis uh, Pasacana are also very nice plants. And they're related to the Tersheckis. They're very closely related, I think. But they have much longer spines. And they don't branch out quite as much. All right, you can see a few small ones planted out there in the field. But look at this big one right here. Really a big cactus. Up it goes, a little wiggly at the top. All right, now here's a little detail of a couple of big cracks on the side of this huge plant. Check this out. Look at that. Looks pretty wh wild, but uh, for the most part, it's just natural. It goes through these cycles. A lot of that will just turn to bark as this thing expands. Okay, here's a look down inside the center of the plant and you can see these new arms growing off of it here. Look at that. Pretty cool. And we're singing in the rain. Big bee. Is there a big bee in there? Look at that shot. Look at the bees. Okay, I got it.
You guys having fun in there? You hiding from the rain? Okay, well, we'll see He's you later. Got a big bee in there. Wow, look at that. Ooh, that's a big bee. Are you hiding from the rain in there? Yeah? Hello there. I'm out here today taking pictures of this Trichocereus trichecii. And wouldn't you know it, the bees are pollinating for us. Let's check out some bees here. Now this plant's really, really spectacular. It's nice and clean. Lots of flowers. I get lots of seeds off of this plant. And the flowers smell great. They're just really nice. As you can see, there's a lot coming out right now. Big tall one. Right here. Got some fruit developing. We got a bee. There we go. A couple bees, different sizes. All right, buddy, go to town. Get in there. Get some stuff done. Collect some pollen. All right. I hope you like that one. All right, we got another set of flowers coming up on the trichecii here. And the bees are hard at work for us, <clears throat> getting everything pollinated. We've already got a bunch of seed pods going on this plant, so we're doing good this year with the trichecii's. The sun's just starting to creep over the horizon. I thought you guys might want to see this. Let's get a close look in here. What's going on, guys? Are we doing some work? Oh, they're busy. Oh, yeah. What's going on in this one? Is it hard at work in there? Thanks a lot. Well, <clears throat> as you can see, what's laying on the ground here? Something's been going on. This guy. Well, folks, can you spell Tershekii? Okay, kids, this is where the seeds come from. Bees are out here doing all the breeding for us. If you look closely, you may be able to see some fruit developing right here. All right, we got a big buddy visiting us today. There's not as many flowers on this one, but there's lots of fruit developing already. Look at that. What's going on down here? Oh, 
Oh, it smells like soap. That's for sure. Real nice. Spicy aroma. Okay. Okay, here's a look at the side. You can see how big these flowers really are. <clears throat> this is the Trichocereus tershekii fruit. And most of this is still ripening. This one down here is already open. Ready to pick. Alright, this stuff's real easy to pick. You just reach in with your hand, try not to get stuck, and twist it off. And it breaks right off. We got a, another fruit. What's happening, little buddy? You getting warmed up in the sun this morning, huh? Yeah. Whoa, don't run away. Don't run away yet, bud. You want to get warmed up first. Look at that, little baby lizard. Go get some bugs, man. Go eat some bugs. Well, I'm out here checking the Trichocereus Spockiana fruit. And these guys, they like to fall off when they're still green. So I have to keep an eye on them. Well, there's one. Hey, but look what's going on here. This nice little yellow flowered trichocereus <clears throat> lots of hot bee action going on over here let's get a close up in there all right that's a nice little pretty yellow flower coming out of the buckets over here near the huastias Here's a look from the sunny side. <clears throat> There's a washa. Get it, guys. All right. Now this here is a close-up of a Ferrocactus robustus, a nice, healthy Ferrocactus clump here. And I was going to film these lizards out here. they've been digging up the ground I found something else you might want to see what's going on over here by this pharaoh cactus I'm getting close here appears to be some movement Now what you're looking at here is plant number 143 from the long slideshow. All right, now this big plant grew a little bit angled at the top and then it broke off on a windy day so we couldn't use it for the big move.
but I put it in the video anyway. Okay, now you can see there's arms popping out all over it. And it's busted up here at the top, but you can see, you might be able to see, there's a little tiny arm coming out right off the top. And then all these other arms. And these markings here, where the wood was attached, and uh, the plant kind of grew into the wood and then sunburned after we took it off. But it's not doing too bad, it's doing all right. And this, of course, is more tumbleweed. Thanks for watching, folks.